Welcome everyone to week 16. And this week I was also preparing my poster for uh, the week 17 annual general meeting of uh, CEL because one of my promoters became the director of Center of Education and Learning in uh, Netherlands which is like a joint program between Leiden University, TU Delft and Erasmus University of Rotterdam. So that's a nice thing because they invest a lot in research and we can collaborate with TU Delft with my former uh, supervisor which I mentioned in week 7 or 8 check my previous weekly vlogs of my PhD. And that brings out new opportunities of collaboration and meeting different people and different kind of things. So there I was asked to present a poster. So the poster was in A1 format. So I will leave a link of my poster below so that you know how to make a poster and I will give you some brief, very uh, advice how to make a poster. So first rule of thumb is that uh, always remember to put limited amount of text even though you'll find that my poster has some text, but you can even try to reduce that. So you should have your research question, which is the most important text. Uh, maybe the main research question uh, as in the, in the poster, highlight that and uh, try to have large number of images, which make sense of your flow or the architecture or that describes a concept or your whole overall PhD. Be creative, try to think. So try to put everything in the form of images instead of text. Text makes it very boring and no one has so much time to go through all the text. It becomes like a full paper, which is put adapted in a poster, which is really not that cool. Uh, so that's the basic thing and rest of the things you can find in the poster you can just compress it to very few words because mostly it will be like an image story so whatever images you put there should make sense like it should spark the the motivation of the visitor who visits the your poster and then you get on the conversation where you explain the details which are not mentioned in the poster. So the pics should be should make the visitor or the reader curious and then you come in to play to explain them about the poster and the other things about the research. And in that way, you also f can maybe find some potential investor in your prototype or maybe some collaborators or maybe someone who will be interested and you can write papers with them. So that's how uh, this week you can see some glimpses of the Christmas market that I traveled. That's like uh, as the vacations are approaching and the Christmas markets generally start from mid November towards the end of December, which is really famous in Germany and Netherlands and most of Europe. But uh, personally, I visited like in this week. I visited uh, one of my friends came over from Delft to uh, my place and we went to some of the nearby Christmas markets. So we went to Cologne, Aachen and uh, Valkenburg, uh, the normal market and also the cave market and uh, Maastricht. So yeah, I get these Skype messages all the time. Ignore it. It's really packed with people and people hitting everywhere, left, right, back, left, right, everywhere, you find a lot of people all around.
What are these? So, uh, what happened was uh, it was a very nice experience. Especially, we enjoyed the. I I liked the German Christmas markets very much. It was really. I mean, it was really interesting, and uh, there was food, drinks, and a lot of people. It was completely filled with crowd. Especially Cologne, the scenes were very nice. I mean, the church and all the large cathedrals and the views of uh, the light with the in the night time. It was really nice with all the lighting because of the Christmas. And uh, personally, the experience of the train was not that good because maybe because it was busy and also the german and dutch trains are not always on time not that great like sometimes you have some weird uh, some uh, strange cancellations because of some technical error or some kind of fault so in cologne the same thing happened when you're coming back to aachen uh, it's like 80 or 90 kilometers so uh, the train was cancelled and it was announced just at the last five minutes so we could not see much uh, I mean like we could not go to other places our plan was also to go to Moscow which is near Aachen in Germany so we had to cancel one of the Christmas market but still in the two days like uh, the, in the two days of the weekends we traveled uh, like four or five Christmas markets which was already a lot <laughs> 